Okay, hello there, I'm Dennis. Welcome to the channel. This is going to be part two, and this is where we ended up on the first video with flat packs, and I had to do a reboot because I suggest after the you install flat pack to reboot, and that's what I did. So this is where we left off at. Me rebooting, let me close this out. Okay, we just installed flat pack. Getting my stuff set up here. Probably could cut all this out. And the video is 17 minutes long, so I probably will cut out some of this. Speed up others. But back to my whisker menu here. Panel button. We're going to change that XFCE. We will after the Firefox opens up. First things I usually do with Firefox when I open it up for the first time is I do some add-ons. The first one being HTTPS everywhere. And we're going to add that to Firefox. The next one will be Privacy Badger. And these help cut down ads that you're going to get every time you browse the internet. I add my menu bar now that's optional of a course and I'm gonna put my home button back up where I can see it and that's pretty much how I customize Firefox and I don't really customize I protect it somewhat you never fully protected so we finished installing the flat pack now let's go to flat pack flat hub and let's find Kate in life we installed flat pack. Let's see what right here. No matches found. Nothing even similar. <laughs> I'm going to have to pause the video or that's going to ding again. Okay, so I took care of that. Let's continue this. We go to flat pack. On, well, I mean, we missed some of it. I guess I left this running. So. Go to flat pack or flathub.org. Go look up Caden Live. Now, and you would think that since we installed flat pack, that this next command would work. However, as you'll see, it does not. No remote reference is found similar to flat hub. Flat hub. So just make sure that we do have flat pack installed. And it says it's newest version so now what go back right here and go down to the bottom you don't see the icon for debian there but if you go down to the near the bottom you'll see where it says see the complete list you click on that you can see the debian in the second row there and let's just do a google search Flat pack on Debian. Debian quick setup flat pack. Now, if you would have clicked on the Debian icon, this is where it would have brought you. So we got to add the, the flat hub repository first. You hear that pitter patter? That's Harley. <laughs> so now that's going to be added. Now I think to complete the setup, now I have to reboot again or restart. But the setup was already done. The, the flat pack was already installed. All we did was add the repository or a mirror. Let's go back to the icon on the start button there. And you can see at the top it says select icons from in this applications menu. And you have other options and some of them are not going to show up right here. But I think it's because they're in here, but they're not suitable for whisker menu. You see all the categories there. 
And like I said, not all of them are going to show up. They will when you're doing your other things like light DM or mug shot. Oh, let's look at that one there. That looks like a folder. Let's change that. <laughs> All right, these are application icons. I like the little penguin right there. Let's select that. There we go. Now everything is set up. We're finishing the install of Caden Live. Making some notes here. I'm going to fast forward out of this. I could actually just skip it right now, I think. Now, importantly, if you're using GNOME desktop, you will need to, they recommend you get the GNOME software plug-in flat pack as well as flat pack. I'm going to fast forward here. Forward here. Do with my notes. See where we're at on the install. Now let's go back to flatpack.org. Look at their items here that we can search the apps. And here's Caden Live, which we're installing now. But I'm going to copy that command. That way you don't have to actually browse the net to have the command on hand. And. Remember, Nomax was not available in the uh, Debian repository, so I'm going to add it as a flat pack. So I might as well copy that command here. Skip forward. <laughs> Save that. Minimize it. Get it out of the way. Let's see where we're at here. We are finished. Let's go ahead and install, or let's put that in my favorites. Left click on it and hold it and drag it where you'd like it. That's 22.04.3. I believe it is the, la the latest, I believe. Last time I checked it was. <laughs> so go ahead and get this started installing Nomax while I set up my Caden Live. So this time we didn't need all those extra plugins because a lot of them or several of them were already installed. So under miscellany, I, I seldom do anything in here. Project defaults though, I'm going to turn my video and audio tracks to four. When I open it up, there'll be four available. And I normally select project default 1080p 29.7. I'm going to enable proxy clips. Now those track heights, I'm going to specify 49 69 was the default we got all our ffmpeg stuff in place transcode now here it's really going to be up to you I, I typically go with the highest that i think my computer will operate smoothly on but you can experiment that's for transcoding all right that's not through let's keep going so let me get rid of all this stuff over here if I need it, I know where it's at, but for now it's just what I call clutter, <laughs> taking up space that I could use on my tracks. Entirely up to you how you set this up. As far as the view that you're actually seeing, that's pretty much how I leave mine. But you can, I've seen some other people that have just really, 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 really <laughs> uh, tweaked theirs where it it don't even look like this. Pretty neat. So I'm ready. This is 2204.3, I believe. And we're finished with Nomax. Let's go find it. It will be under graphics, not multimedia. There it is. Make sure it works. Choose our language. You'll always get that the first time that you use it. Let's go. Let's go find a background. Computer, user, share, background. Icons are stored here as well. And it works. 
about that? Alright. I'm through with Flat Hub now. Close that out. Go home. And we're going to start working on customizing my look and feel of Firefox. I'm going to create a, a folder for uh, Debian, since this is Debian. That'll be the first place I look if there's ever a problem. <laughs> Or if I just want to get a new ISO. All right, let's look at installing VirtualBox on Debian. VirtualBox, Debian Wiki. All right. This is another way of showing you what your release is. It's Etsy OS hyphen release. We're on Bullseye, so we want to make sure we select the right one here, Bullseye. Let's click on that and it'll drop you down in the menu to here. Now, at this point, when we try to install VirtualBox, it's gonna it's gonna say uh, it's not there. All right. Read on here though. It says, I tell you what. Let me bring up mine. I, it'll be easier to read. I think VirtualBox on Debian. However, new versions of VirtualBox are made available. But first of all, it's usually not officially available in the stable releases, which is as Debian Bullseye is stable. Due to, uh, the reason is the due to lack of cooperation from the upstream, upstream on security support for older releases. I believe that's probably the same issue in FreeBSD with VirtualBox right now. But anyway, uh, new versions of VirtualBox are made available to stable users, which is stable, on a rolling basis by Debian Fast Track, a Debian project. This is currently available for 10 and 11. So it says add the Fast Track repository number one. And you click on that, and here's the Fast Track repository. I'll leave these links, and you'll be able to just see and read all you want to here about what you want. That will tell you that Backports does need to be enabled and here's instructions on how to do that all right let me minimize that let's start this over again and i'm gonna skip past all the stuff i just mentioned like i said the links will be in the description here's your sources list and i'm not ready to add anything to it yet i just this is for debian unstable Buster 11. See, that's what we want. Fast forward. Get forward. Now we got to add the fast track. Fast forward. <laughs> App install fast track. All right. So this is the fast track archive key ring. Enable back port. Fast forward, get forward. Follow the fast track archive key ring. Next, we got to add to our sources list Etsy app sources.list period.list. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. <laughs> Copying that over into my notes. Fast forward, fast forward. All right, I'm going to copy and paste those right over into the sources list. Warning me that could be an unsafe paste. And if it is, it's because Debian just put it there. Because <laughs> it's right off of their wiki. All right, so I'm going to close that out. And let's read what's next. So if you can't use those, it gives you alternatives here. But I believe we're through with this, as far as the fast track goes. Fast forward, fast forward. Now we should be able to install VirtualBox, you would think. Fast forward, not available. We're going to have to restart. <laughs> Let me go ahead and mark these in my favorites, put them in their own categories. 
this is just a lot easier for me to to keep them separate if I keep them separate. <laughs> Instead of opening up a bookmark and there'll be a thousand, not even room for them to show up on the page. Tell that not to warn me no more of that. Make sure I save this and reboot. And that's going to do it for part two. When I come back on part three, it's, I know it's not fair, but uh, on part three, I'm going to finish up the installation of VirtualBox, and then I'll have some final thoughts. So, like I said, Debian stable. <laughs> we got flat packs installed. Here's mine. Let me just close this out, get it off the screen. Here's my menu again. We got uh, all that. Caden Live is a flat pack, and I do have VirtualBox installed. And we'll continue on how I finish that after the reboot. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on another video. Peace out. Bye.